Zip Tie Domes presents How to Attach a Cover with Test Caps and Pleats. It's always exciting to cover a dome. And one of our first large dome coverings for the 24 foot dome was for Keith Harris in Hartsville, Tennessee. But the question was after we got the cover on, how are we going to secure this cover so it won't blow away? Keith used the standard um, zip tie dome hubs, and so we had to come up with a really good solution on how to attach it to, to the hubs. Here we're using the standard metal clips that you can get from any uh, greenhouse store for um, attaching the dome covering to the struts. But Keith came up with an ingenious method for attaching the, the uh, covering to the hubs using test cap covers. I'll let him talk about that. This technique also takes up the um, excess plastic by making a pleat over each one of the hubs. And um, it reinforces the plastic and also takes up all the excess at the same time. Quite ingenious. What are these things? Well, they're called uh, knockout plugs. We used to call them test plugs by Charlotte. But we were trying to figure out the best way to secure this. And it seemed to work fairly well. We, one on the inside, one on the outside. So, Where did you get these at? At Lowe's? I got these at Lowe's. I think they were 50 cents a piece. 50 cents? 50, 60 cents, something like that. Uh -huh. We figured, you know, every every other one, maybe every third one, uh, would be enough to hold it in place. But the nice thing with this is this whole area here is secure in plastic, so you're not got a little spot. You've got that whole area, yeah, that's which makes that. a real strong bind, you know. And, and you're putting your plates. Uh, you're putting you're the trying, uh, yeah, right. Put it through up the plates, plates in there that holds them in, and that kind of doubles it up. It does. It does. Okay. Well, that is an excellent use. For that yeah once we get it tightened up it, it'll look pretty sharp but i can have to probably put a green or red led light in there so it looks real interesting uh-huh at night kind of keep it so that's a 24 foot dome and it was 48 foot of plastic 48 by 48. 48 it covered it real well no problems thanks keith mm -hmm. that's working out pretty good yeah, those things work work perfect. Yeah. Well, they're made for it. <laughs> yeah. You know. And enough, John. Whenever I come in here and start doing structures, uh -huh. I can bolt stuff to these. You know, I mean, I like yeah. shelves or whatever I happen to do, I can uh -huh. bolt it right yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. You're right, though. You get a lot of wind. Yeah. Oh, well, you get. So you don't have this secured down to the ground at all? Yes. I, see, what, what I've done is I went through and took electric fence post and wire it down like that. I see. So that, that's what keeps it from floating off the ground? Uh-huh. Yeah, because it did get a little light one day. Uh-huh. Well, there's not much to it. It's very light. Mm-mm. But see, it, it's all pretty loose. It all needs uh -huh. to be tightened up. Yeah, yeah. That day it come off the ground, it, <clears throat> if, uh, if it went too much more, it took me with it because I was uh -huh. hanging on to it. <laughs> I was right over there. Really? Yeah, I, it was way up like this. I was holding it in there. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a little windy, uh -huh. but I'm convinced it was the hot air up top that was that was hotter than the outside air, which causes it to lift. See? Right, so it just came off the ground like a big balloon? Uh -huh, like, I think that's exactly the concept of what happened. Uh -huh. hot, uh -huh. air, hot air balloon. So it's like, in that... Uh, dot is your center point well it was but you know we had so close much, enough we had so much play on each side it wasn't that critical to get it that yeah, it's pr pretty close yeah yeah it was pretty close that was just so we could have an index to go by anyway uh -huh. a lot of room in here hmm? a lot of room you can put a lot of stuff in here I mean, oh yeah a lot of stuff even with the a pig i think we're going to Use one of them 1100 gallon round uh -huh. plastic, plastic cistern tanks. Sure. The top off of it. 
in the center, you got tons of room there in the outside to, to, to put two or three layers of, of you know, hydroponic stuff. Uh, maybe some raised beds in an area wouldn't all have to be, you know, the hydroponic beds. I'm going to be just raised beds.